What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's topic is about Peter Steph de Toy, World Rugby Player of the Year, one of the greats at this point in time. Unfortunately, he's currently injured due to this injury that we're going to talk about in today's video. Now, a lot of people thought it was just a little uh, leg injury when he took on the Bulls, um, but uh, took on the Blues, sorry. But it was a serious injury that could have actually almost lost he could have lost his leg due to it if the Stormers doctors didn't pick it up um, in time, which thankfully they did. Um, it was the quick action from the doctor, Jason Souter, prevented a catastrophic and permanent disability that would have obviously ended the career of one of the greats in world rugby who's got such a great future ahead of him. He walked off in the 67th minute um, to the, obviously the 14-33 loss to the Blues at Newlands. Um, and obviously everyone thought it was a, like a hematoma uh, to his left thigh. Um, however, they provided new information that he was actually rushed into hospital and because um, obviously it was an, a medical emergency. Um, it, and a, it's a credible, credibly rare case. There are only 43 cases that has been listed in the literature of this type of um, syndrome that uh, Peter Steftatoy had. And it's an emergency because you just don't pick it up early. And if, they, if these players lose lo um, blood supply to the leg, they lose the leg in general. Um, and it said within 15 minutes of him coming off the field and assessing him, we realized that he was at risk and pre for, for this particular rare conditioning and could be losing his leg. He was taken straight to the hospital in Cape Town where he had a vascular surgeon waiting who operated on him that night. It says a, it's in a very unusual, very rare, but they had to cut through the muscle to release the pressure and they were only able to close that leg 10 days after the initial injury. I mean, that's intense. The doctor said the toy is recovering well at home and he's expected to end in about three months' time. So it's increased the, 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 the time that he has to wait until order to get back. But um, career 30 injury, these kind of things you've got to take um, with, with precaution and, and watch and credit to the Stormers doctors and medical staff for, for picking this up because, I mean, such young talent who's just growing and getting better and taking the world by storm, especially in 2019 and was on the verge of pretty much could have done the same in 2020, although with the coronavirus, it would have been obviously put at hold. But um, thankfully, because of this um, was noted in time and the surgery was that night, they managed to solve this issue. And now he's going to be back in about three months, three to four months probably, because of rehabilitation and all that stuff. So with this whole delay with the coronavirus and all that jazz, it um, allows him to not miss too much of um, too much rugby, but he needs to take it one step at a time. And um, again, credit to the Stormers and the medical bosses for picking this injury up. And um, I can only wish Peter Steph um, a, a speedy recovery and to take this one step at a time and not to rush into things because, you know, you come back, from injury too soon. We've seen players whose careers have just been prone to injury. And it's obviously now a weak spot, so we just gotta make sure that he comes back strong, better and fitter than ever, so he can really start playing the game to the best of his ability. Um, because these things happen where careers are destroyed due to an injury, or players come back and then they're back and injured. I mean, Sia Colisi is one who's currently injured, and we've seen him often come back injured. Dan Carter, another one. We've seen many greats um, really get taken out due to injuries, but majority come back uh, better and stronger. But there's also guys who haven't, for the likes of Bobby Stinstadt and many other players as well in their careers. So I just hope Peter Steph comes back better and stronger than ever and can continue that great form that he ended off with um, due to this injury. So all the best, Peter Steph, keep strong, keep safe, and we will hopefully see you back in your Stormers as well as Springbok Jersey real soon. That's going to do it for today's video. Hope you find it in, uh, informative. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.